Welcome to my Permit F series for No Man's Sky and here I was starting the video up on the bridge of my freighter because I want to talk about the options going forward based on what happened in the previous video where I got to the centre of the galaxy and I was unable to get through. I think the general consensus is that I need more range to be able to bridge that gap of nearly 3,000 light years to, to trigger it. I'm still not I'm still a little bit concerned about the change because one thing I do notice is that my uh, Laughing Gnome is kind of double upgraded with these drives and it still only gets to just over 2,000 light years and it seems a bit strange that you've got to have an S-Class Explorer to go through the centre of the galaxy, either that or an upgraded frigate and to me that seems a little bit unbalanced but anyway that's my opinion. But uh, the other thing I want to say is a big thank you for your comments and feedback. You've given me a vast amount to think about and the options of maybe solving this problem. And I think it comes down, and, and I think from my perspective, it comes down to three options. One is I need to upgrade the freighter and get in the necessary technologies here to be able to jump through the center. But to do that, I'm going to need a lot of uh, frigate salvage modules. And the general consensus from the comments is that the only way to do it is to get out and destroy uh, freighter pods. Now, I'm kind of still a little bit reluctant to go that way because I'm in permadeath mode, but I, maybe I will have to bite the bullet. But I am thinking of a little bit of a strategies on how to do that. And one option I am thinking is that if I attack um, freighters when they're close to the space station, maybe if I land in a system and there's a space battle going on, I can always turn on the freighter. And that will give me an opt-out to get back to the space station if things get a little bit too hot. Before doing that, I think I will probably do a bit more work on the fighter just to see if I can get, get it a bit more upgraded and get a bit more capacity on it. Now, my second option is to upgrade the Laughing Gnome to an S-Class. But I'm still not convinced I'm being able to get to, I think it was, what was it, the distance to the centre of the galaxy. It's 2,900. So to add another 900 to this hyperdrive range seems a bit of a stretch. I mean, maybe the bonus for S-Class is sufficient for that. But I mean, I've already got three levels of upgrade here. And the way I look at this, even if I upgrade this A-Class to an S-Class, I, I can't see that adding that much because this one is an S-Class for 243. And the same over here. I mean, I've got 234, 243. When I could get another 100, I suppose that might stretch it to a point. But to me, that just seems a bit odd in the sense that the only way you can get through the center of the galaxy is with an S-Class Explorer fully upgraded. Um, to me, that just seems... I mean, that brings in the issue of people who want to use exotics and living ships. But we'll, we'll see it, and I think it was Snaf who suggested travelling round the edge of the galaxy to find a planet closer to the centre. And we may give that a go, because what I'm going to be doing going forward is exploring round the the galactic centre, because I've never done that anyway, so we'll just have to see what type of planets are there. Now, with respect to upgrading the Laughing Gnome, we're going to have to get to 50,000 nanites, in, which is one of the reasons... So which means I'm going to have to start trying to produce nanites on an industrial start scale because we got another, what was it, 20,000 nanites to get, which is pretty good, but it's going to take a little while and we'll be looking at that in just a minute. And the, the third option is to actually go and see if I can get an S-Class Explorer. If I can find one, maybe we'll replace the Dark Star. We'll have Dark Star 3 will be an S-Class um, Explorer. Uh, but, or we'll, we'll see how it goes anyway. So that is the options. And what I want to do now is I just want to have a little bit of a nanite fest in the sense of, well, get rid of this first. Okay. Because I've, I've been gathering up the resources to make nanites and looking at the different options. And I'm going to start with, which is probably a pretty good one, which is we're going to start with some hexite and I think it's fecium. And that, this gives us uh, nanites on a one-to-one -one ratio. So we're just going to chug that through in there. Now another option for getting nanites is... <laughs> let's get that into there. Is pugnium. And I think it's 25 to 1. But 
you can see here we only get 10 but it's really quick and I've got a great big pile of uh, pugnium so we're just going to get rid of this I mean I know it's going to be a, a little bit of a slow process but no, we got two two downloads from that. Okay, warning ratio. We can come back, and another one is well, we got runaway mold, but I'm not going to worry about that. And I think another one is platinum. There'll be that in there, and this is 35 to one, so it's not particularly that efficient. So, to yeah, we got seven nanites out of that. Wow. So, uh, so, I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a grind to do this. Well, and you never know, I might get there eventually. And I think the uh, um, another one is salvage data. I think salvage data returns 15 nanites. And, and of course, we've also got the the eggs that you can get by from the abandoned buildings this is still going I don't think I've got anything else that's I can go to the high capacity uh, let's have a look yeah uh, that can, platinum can go back to the high capacity and we've got a little bit of pugnium that can go there to the high capacity Actually, what we could do is get some more nanites. Put the hexite here. Near. The problem with hexite is actually finding it. I'm just going to put that in there. Right, we'll just let that. Let's give me another 197. Right, this one's finished, and we've got 250 nanites. Again, it's, it's an interesting amount, but at the same time, you could probably get just as much from doing missions. Let's just see how far I've got now. So we've got over 30,000, which is pretty good in its own way. We've got that big pile of thesium. I think we'll shove that back into the vaults. So we may be on a little bit of a nanite fest going forward. I mean, but so that covers the options of what I want to do. And I'm aware that it's going to take a little bit of time to do it. And what I think I need to do is spend a little bit more time thinking about various options. And so what I'm going to be doing now is we're going to go and take a look at the community mission. Because, I mean, this is the Dark Star, but this is only it's still only an A-class. So maybe if we, get, we can find an S-class uh, explorer where, where things will be a little bit better. And the other thing I've also done since the last video is I've done two cycles of frigate missions and got absolutely nothing. So we're just going to blast our way through. I don't think the Nexus is here. So we're going to have to... I'm just calling the Nexus. And we're going to see what the community mission is for this weekend. Right, here we are. And just to give you a bit of an update on the community mission, you can see we're now halfway through through tier two. So, so things are happening relatively quickly. So I want to go and check Quicksilver. Talk to him. See if we're, yeah, we're still, oh. That's changed. The banners have been completed. The last time I checked, the banners hadn't been completed. So we're now on a blistering mushroom, a watchful protrusion, and a tentacle spire. Makes me wonder if whether these were fixed, because I think I think I said in the last was it the last video, the video before, that that mission seemed to have gone backwards due to the release of the mech update. I just want to talk to this guy, see if we can get some nanites out of him. Ancient creatures. Yeah. Number 200 and 
I think talking to the, these more often will make a difference as well. Uh, so we'll grab as many nanites as we can here. Exchange materials. He's going to give me zip for this, but let's see what he's going to give me for it. Yeah, five nanites. It's a waste. Complete waste. I know it's a waste, but we need to get down on a extreme planet and get some more storm crystals as well. I'm starting to go through them. And here we go. Let's see what the community mission is going to be. Got a warp hypercore, drop pod coordinates. Okay, so we're going to go to vanishing point. Uh, initialize mission, start mission. Hopefully this will be a relatively straightforward uh, mission. Famous last words. Yeah, I'm just going to jump in here. And away we go. I've got Nada with me, so I'm feeling very confident. Yeah, it's knowledge stone detected, but where is it? I've come right down on the uh, the portal. That's a bit crazy. I want, I want knowledge stones. Well, we can. I'm just have a look round. Well, let's just put down. Do this quickly. Sit rain. It's going to come in here. I'll go. Just gonna scan for a monolith. Alien artifact detected. Thank you, game. That's a plaque. Um, it's gonna give me a target. Actually, I just want to try something. Wait, don't jump on me. Ah, it's only distress signals. I was hoping I might be able to scan for the... Well, we can scan for a distress signal as well, or right here. I know I shouldn't be. Let's just jump in the ship and we'll just head for... So we're going to have to do this the hard way, looking for knowledge stones whilst heading towards the plaque. And I'll be right back once I've done it. So here we are, we're just coming up on the last of the stones, touch the stone. And there we are, so we're going to, we're going to have to do now is call in the ship and go back to the portal. But the other thing I want to show you is that what I've got is a couple of salvage datas. And you can see you get 15 for each one, so this would be another 30 nanites. So we're, we will be gathering a lot more salvage tech. Ah. Find a clear space for the ship. Pull the ship in. There we are. Just do a bit of lopsided uh, parking. And off we go. Oh, I wasn't that far away from the portal anyway. So here we are. Just drop down. Let's 
grab this. Find myself drawn towards the giant gateway as though it's compelled by some great force greater than Nadra and Polo's mission directives. From beyond the portal, the anomalous world frantically whispers its secrets, filling my mind to bursting. Enter the glyph sequence. And away we go. And through the portal we go. So we're on Sprindandi Carbar. We're on a chromic fog planet. Okay. Pretty cool. Like it. And stop. Where are you? Just curious, actually. Oh. So this is at the top. This is a green planet. Oysterous. Interesting. So let's just head over here and see what we can find. Um, next to Solo's base again. There we go. And let me just oops, get rid of you. Hi. Yeah, don't worry about it, Sentinels. We'll be okay. And we'll see what the mission is for this weekend. <laughs> Orvax Plant. The structure hisses and crackles. The static energy must be the disturbance detected by Polo and Nada. Wordlessly, it transmits its demands directly into my mind. Something groans deep within the earth as though the land itself hungers. What the materials is. We gotta find sixteen vortex cubes. That's gonna be fun. Where the heck are we gonna get sixteen vortex cubes from? Right, there's a subterranean relic there. underneath there but I mean there's a depression there there's no cave okay where's it gone okay. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go underground Underground. Let's see what we can see. There's some more that way. And this might be relatively straightforward then. <laughs> Famous last words. Six. Can't see any more that way. Some that way. Actually, I'm gonna get some marrow bulb while I'm here. Oh, yes. I know you're looking for me. It's an ancient data structure that way. Right, we got eight out of sixteen. 
let's just go down this way. We'll just let the jolly old sentinels chill out a bit. Unidentified plant. Well, we're just supposed to scan that on the way through. That way. <clears throat> right, we better have a bit of a stroll across the surface and see what we can find. You. Eight details are now in catalogue. Uh, farming, feeding creatures, riding creatures, this, the list of things I still need to do is just so phenomenal. What's this here? Explore together the Galactic Hub project. Yeah, I always keep meaning to go and visit the Galactic Hub. Again, it's something I've never really got round to doing. Life support, 50%. Actually, I'm just going to let it run down so we can use those oxygen capabilities. Um. While we're here, see if we can pick up some Salvage tech as well. Might as well get. I mean, I, I need a, a sense of direction where to walk anyway, so we might also combine missions, uh, navigation data. Yeah, well, of course, if we come here, not that I really need rust, but never mind. Got a warp cell. Let's just go and. Uh, pick up the plants. And the birds. The birds, the birds. Right, we're getting near an edge here. That might show up some vortex cubes. We're actually on a green plat planet as well, so might be able to pick up some emerald. Uh, let's grab you. What's this? Oh, there's a bit of a... Is this a cave? Alright, there's a... Oops. <laughs> I think we will... Oh. Why does this keep disappearing? There it is. We'll just go straight down to it. What the heck happened there? Like it? I'm not exactly too sure what happened there. Almost like I was ejected out of the of the hole. Okay, that's it. Some more. We got eleven out of sixteen. Any more around here? It's just, oops. I know what you are, and you're gonna die. I don't want you. Nope, no more. Let's just have a little bit of a walk through the cave system. Let's see if we can turn up anything else of interest down here. Nope, need life support, 35%. Uh, terrain B, Terrain Manipulator. Let's just go back to the surface again. Whoops. Wow, I've just... Uh. Let's 
What's that over there? There's some lots of cargo and stuff around, but I'm not particularly that too interested in that. And we'll scan you. I am curious about what that is. Oh, it's the generators for the base. Oh well. Dense carbon. Uh, just keep walking. Every time I see those crab like creatures, it always brings back dark memories of when No Man's Sky first came out. And they were always hostile and they were all really quick and really hard to hit. And I think I lost count the number of times I was killed by those. But luckily I wasn't playing permadeath then, it was just normal mode and you just kind of <laughs> got regenerated. But they would just come at you really f full on. And they were a real pain in the neck to hit. Especially when you had the, the low level multi tool. Right, we'll just keep walking. Let's see what we can find. Right, there's some more berry technology that way. We'll just we'll just follow the berry technology. Actually there's some looks like there's some emerald down there as well. That could um, Yeah, okay. I I concede. There we are. You happy game? Right. Don't have much more in the way of slots, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. Right, we'll go and get some very Yeah, we're not gonna pick up any more stuff. You, oh one. Are you a predator? Okay. There was something over here I wanted to look at. Okay, is there? Oh, okay. There's curious deposit over this way. That might get be the last lot to find. Half tempted to pick up some emerald because if I'm going to up trick out the Dark Star as a potential ship to go through the center of the galaxy, we're going to need to put all the necessary drives in. But that will be Dark Star 3 once I've got a an S class explorer. So that's partly the way I'm thinking is that I've got a specialist ship to go through black holes. Why not have a specialist ship to go through the center of the galaxy as well? So we're going to need to find an S-Class Explorer, get all the hyperdrive um, upgrades into it, see if we can get to um, a range of 2,900 uh, light years. And that will become my center of the galaxy ship. And that means I can then ease off on having to collect the nanites, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. That's a curious deposit, this. You've misled me, game. Okay. Very technology module there. I'm te half tempted to collect some emerald, but to be honest, I don't think emerald would be that big a problem. Uh, we'll just go and get this buried technology module. Cheers, just come in here. Uh, got some more salvage data. Get another 60 nanites. Uh, add that in the, the mix. Just gonna come up to here. Grab you.
think what we're going to do is kind of curve back towards the base and see if we can find some more vortex cubes. Um, I mean, I, I can't find any real cave entrances here. This is the problem. But we'll just keep walking and scanning, uh, looking for... What's that there? Subterranean relic. Must have walked past one. Huh. Uh, well, let's get rid of you. I don't want you annoying me while I... Uh, actually, you're unidentified, so... Let's get another 40 fans. Right, let's just... Get close. Right. Down we go. Just blast our way. Awesome. Twelve. Any more down here? Get down this way. Let's see what we can find. Nope. Oops. This is, might be something down this way. Must admit, I haven't done any cave walking for a long time. There's lots of things I don't do so much anymore in No Man's Sky. Again, walking through caves and exploring caves was very much a feature of when in the early game. What's that there? Curious deposit? Yeah, I'm not interested in that. Very technology module. Um, do, 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 do. Nothing else around. Let's just throw it. Looks like I might be going up through the center of a mountain or something. Three hundred and forty seven. Let's recharge. There it is. I know I'd get to the surface eventually. Yeah, I was under a mountain. It's one of the hazards of the game. We need to stabilize the rift. What have we got up there? Ancient data structure. We we'll go and check out the ancient data structure again. It'll just give me another target to aim for. Only 297 meters away. We need three more vortex cubes, and then we've got it. Everything is complete. Um, uh, scan the rock. Uh, Sentinel there. I don't really want to get into a, a fun combat system with a Sentinel. You can almost guarantee they're probably going to attack. Right, here's the data cubes. This will give me some navigation data. That should fill all my navigation data requirements for a little while um, okay. right, you. anything around nope I think we'll go this way oops <laughs> there's some birds up there just them. I can hook them Why can't I? Someone need the... Doesn't want the birds. The birds don't want to be scanned. Oh well, who cares? A 
sortir. We'll just start working our way back towards the base and see what we can find. See if we can. That looks suspiciously like a predator. We don't. Actually, a cave down here, but I'm not picking up any underground relics or anything down inside it. Get out of the way around you. Later. So I've just got that kick back again. We got four salvage data for that. That's pretty good. Right, let's see if we can. Still not seeing the vortex cubes. Another buried technology, 127 meters away, or units away. We're just going to go and dig that up. Interesting. This one is going to be possibly underground here. I think this might not let me get to this one. But we'll uh, give it a go. It says destination reached, but it's not going to let me get to it. Well, never mind. Let's grab this. Uh, take some ridges, your goop turn that into nanites and we've got 28 nanites just keep looking for all Okay, we've got some more navigation data. I think I can pick up three more and then that would give me a completely full slot, I think. Let's have a quick look. Oh no, we can get a few more, but I don't think I need to really, to be honest. I'm just gonna get up here, get another.
This is destination reach. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> Got it. Wow, that was down. That was down pretty deep. Uh, okay, get some more slime. Hopefully, we'll get some more nanites. Yep, another twenty odd nanites. Um, we have found some more subterranean relics. Hopefully, this should be the final three. Then I've already said that once already, so let's just. Oops, better top up the oxygen. We'll just drop another capsule in. We'll just. The surface is getting very strangely resistant to damage. Blast our way through, open up a pretty big hole. Loads of ferrite dust, have bits and pieces. So, yeah, there we are. Got a nice big pile of um, vortex cubes. So, this should be okay. <laughs> Invent inventory for okay. We have to discard the sweet root um, and put the viscous fluid in there. That give me two slots. To... And I can see a predator. Oh, we got a creepy crawly. He ain't worried it just long as I killed the killed him. Now, where's that entrance I came in? Trouble of getting out of entrances like that where I've just come through is getting back up to it. I think what we can do is just follow the path back out again. There we are. How far away are we from the anomalous disturbance? Five minutes away. Is there anything of value between? No. Okay, pull the ship in. Oops, back one. Right. Laughing no. Take off. Oh, it's a hot storm. I've got the resources for that, so I'm okay. okay I'm just gonna. I'm um, just gonna rattle through this and give my hand in our 16 vortex cubes. Mission complete. What we need to do now is get back to the portal. I suppose we could have stomped around this planet using the Minotaur, but the problem with the Minotaur is I'm not sure you'd be able I would have been able to get down underground as, as efficiently as uh, <laughs> oops a daisy there we go okay it's out there go away 
Progress not saved. Yes, thank you for telling me, game. Any quick wins close by? 109. No, I can't close. Yeah, I think we'll just dash straight through. And here we are, we are back on the, the planet. Oops, ah, wow. Wait, don't do that to me. Again, just have another look, quick look round for any quick wins, anything like that. The sentinel plant there. No, nothing particularly special. It's just jump back up into here and we'll just head back to the Nexus let's just get here and cash the mission in uh, complete mission 1200 quicksilver. I don't know how much quicksilver I've got now. 3600. We've managed to get past 30,000 with that. But what we could do, I think what we'll do is we'll just come here, bring the slime back. There's the. And we'll just get, knock out another 195 nanites. And let's see. What tiny co um let's have a quick look at the community research now. So we're now up to sixty nine percent. My probably small effort probably added less than one percent to that, but that's the way it goes. Jesus. Turn to mission agent, yes. I just want to have a quick look at the battery override unit. Nah, nothing particularly special there. Right, I think just to wind up this video, what we're going to do is go back to the space station and see what missions I've completed. And see if we can add some more nanites that way. Never know, might have found an S-Class Explorer. In fact, we found absolutely nothing. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. I mean, there's anything... Well, we got the Tetra Cobalt, got the Corvax casing and the Vortex Cubes. We can sell those off don't really have a... I mean, vortex cubes aren't that difficult to find anymore. You've just got to find the right planet and away you go. I'm just going to just sell off the Corvax casing first. Yeah, I've got 20,000 for that. And where's the Corvax casing? There it is. 21,000 for that. Oh, we actually got a little bit of emerald as well. And see how, how many missions I've got to hand in. Well, we've got a few. Got, we can add on a few more nanites, a lot more nanites actually. Uh, so 173. And of course, if I start shooting up freighters, I need to choose a faction that will hand, be able to handle the negative impact. And uh, all ducts. A bit more cash. Um, about 174 nanites. Let's we'll just have a quick look at what missions you've got. Yeah, we'll take back. We'll take the scan, the creatures, and wait. I mean, we could do missions for nanites as well, but I don't. I, I just don't feel that that's particularly that effective. Uh, we'll certainly kill four sentinels, um, and we're certainly going to kill two sentinel quads as well, but mainly for their resources. Yeah. So, quick roundup. We. 
we probably put on over a thousand nanites in this part which is pretty good i think maybe in the upcoming videos we'll be focusing very much on getting nanites but then you can guarantee this being no man's sky i will get distracted but until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming